This is the Elect Intuitive Prophetess back again with another spiritual energy read. Please subscribe to the channel. Press the like feature. Give me that thumbs up. It keeps me tapped in by permission to your current energy. It also keeps us moving further into the algorithm so that we can get these healing messages out to those that need them the most. All of my messages and readings are timeless. So whenever you hear it, that's when it's meant for you to apply it to your special situation. Please be advised that every read is not for everyone. I may not be the reader for you, and that's fine, because we're only going to take that which resonates and leave the rest behind. Good morning. Welcome back to all of my subscribers, those that have been with me since day one, those that are just now coming aboard. You are welcome. All of your energetic exchanges are appreciated to take place in the comment section. We appreciate all of the energetic and financial exchanges that are coming in towards the growth and expansion of the channel. All cross watchers are welcome. Prophets, prophetess, seers, light workers, members of the Soul Tribe family, you are welcome to this judge free zone where we do not judge anyone. We only offer light, love, and healing as we assist one another on this journey that we call life. Let's tap straight in. You are being criticized for your gifting. I'm going to tell you what the problem is, collective. They're afraid that with this gift, you will see who they really are, okay? That's what people are threatened by. They don't want you to use your spiritual gift because it allows you to see through them, their situation, and other people. That's what all this is about. People are intimidated by you. They're paranoid when you come around. Have you noticed how the energy shifts when you leave or come into a room? You are very powerful. Collective, you're more powerful than what you realize. I need my divine feminine, my divine masculine to hear me now. You are much more powerful than what you realize. Your words have power. You have also interpreted so many things in people's lives. You gave them prophetic words and it happened. So many other people, for the few that come and let you know you were correct, imagine how many is just walking around looking stupid, knowing they need to come to you and give you confirmation. But that's okay. Our confirmation comes from God, comes from the spirit. I'm telling you, every person that has come against you, your gifting, they could have shunned you. They could have uh, pushed you out, shut you out, stonewalled you. Everyone that has caused you some type of heartache or pain in the past, I'm going to go back five years. 2024 is year for karmic retribution. Now, I've had people coming in the comments for whatever reason, they're angry with me. Don't get angry with the messenger. Get angry with God. He chose me to deliver these messages. Don't go in the comment section telling me to shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm sick of this BS. I mean, I'm reading all kind of stuff and that's okay. I'm not new to YouTube, but this channel is new. Oh my goodness. I mean, I can't believe how people will really get angry at what God shows you. That's how you know you struck a nerve. Only a hit dog hollers. I mean, I got to be honest with you, okay? People are very threatened by you, collective. I'm just feeling like you need to know this energy. You need to know that what's going on on this hump day. It's Wednesday. Maybe it'll help you get through the week. That's why people are dropping off by the droves. God's going to leave a few people around you, though, for confirmation to keep you encouraged. Some of you can expect some new mentors. I see new mentorship coming in for you. I see new love relationships coming in for you. People who understand your placing and your gifting, God is going to send into your life. Let's get some messages and get some uh, clarity on uh, who are these people that are intimidated by you? What types of energy is around you at this time? People you could have gambled, taken a risk on. And I'm going to tell you right now, that also means these people gambled and they took a risk on, lo on losing you and they lost. You're gone and you're not going back. It's better that you're just friends with some of these people. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Very clear. Do not compromise who you are, what you do for these people. They left you in a sink or swim situation. They did not care. So when they come back around, look at this. 
Don't let them in, he or she. Mm, how clear is that? These people that are intimidated by your gifts. Look, you got too big for them. You got too powerful. You didn't do it. God did it. It's time for you to be seen. It's time for you to come out of hermit activity and deal with these backstabbers. Yes, they backstabbed you, but you're getting ready to bring the truth. Ain't that right? You're getting ready to stop holding back how you feel. When these people do come around, that may be an open door for you to let them know what you're thinking and how they made you feel. These people are very codependent. They may have had you in codependent situations until you went through this Kundalini awakening. You are ascending. You've been dealing, doing a lot of shadow work. Uh-huh. These people are being left with this right here. Suicidal thoughts and getting angry, wanting to unalive themselves over you. Maybe you dealt with suicidal thoughts. Thoughts, but you chose to heal. You went and got help for the inner child. Uh-huh. Look at that. Yes, Lord. That's my amen card. So I'm talking to somebody. They're just intimidated by the new you. You're look at this. These people got the nerve to send the message that they miss you. And some of them probably really do miss you. But you have to keep going. It says don't compromise and don't let these codependent people back in who's intimidated by your gifting. Simple, simple as that. Yeah, they wanted to end your life. Look. You got too big for them. Now they're thinking too small. Come away from these small thinking people, these dream killers. There's about to be some divine intervention. God is about to show you how much he really is with you, collective. You've been wondering. I told y'all it's something about this week. Expect miracles. Expect breakthrough. Expect revelation this week. What? They were laughing at you because of your gifting. I'm going through that now. People have literally been laughing at me. But look at this. They're now in big trouble with God because collective, you are the star. You are the healer. Wow. Let's get a couple more cards and I'm going to end this read. What else is going on with these intimidated people who can't handle your gifting, who wants you to dumb down your light? Black queen. This is the black queen in my card that on a typical of ace of spades, ace of clovers. You are somebody, whether this is masculine energy or feminine, look, you are the star. You are the black queen. Yes. Oh, these people are in big trouble for messing with you. Wow. Their secrets are about to be revealed. Just look, somebody got an STD. It's right here. That's one of their secrets. They like young girls. Look, they like taking advantage of young girls. Bam! How clear is that? They're afraid you're going to see this and you already see it. You already know who I'm talking about. You know better than I do. Wow. They love, they love to play emotional head games. They can't trick you anymore. So stay guarded because these people are going to try to come back in. Let's get a few more cards. Stay guarded. Don't let them in. They're coming. Let's see what just hit the floor here. Guilty is charged. Whoa, very clear message about these people that are intimidated by your gifting. They're guilty of what? Bad energy, having bad energy. Leave these people alone. Release what no longer serves you, collective. This message is so clear. Look, in these toxic connections with these people that no longer serves you, leave this bad energy alone. I just said in another read, when you do this, you can expect a miracle. This is what's going on with the people who are intimidated by you and your gifting. They're in silent competition with you and you didn't even know it. Look, it's time for you to move on collective away from these energies, and stand in your power. This is so clear. I got a gut feeling. Consider your gut feeling, your intuitive side. One, one, one. Be very careful with these people. Because when I tell you they're in competition, they're jealous and they're hating on you, but karma got your back. They ain't getting away with nothing. Let's do a few more and I'm going to end. Look. Don't settle. Oh my God. Don't settle. If you have to stand alone and wait on God, just don't settle. I'm trying to get the card loose. Don't settle because these people are truly threatened by you. 
this is so clear. This is so clear. I'm being led to just end this read right here. This is what's going on with the people who are intimidated by you and your gifting. This confirmation was so clear in this read. I'm almost speechless, okay? The cards are being used to give clarity and insight on what you're really dealing with. If you don't understand the use of a card in the first place, whether I made it, whether it's a tarot card, whether you bought the card and made it, you need to understand that God is real. His energy is real. These are just tools to confirm clarity that's going on with you in your life. And if you ask me, that was a bunch of real good clarity right there, 1044, when I looked up on the timer. I hope that I've said something that uh, resonates with someone. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, bye-bye.